However, the addicts weren't going to let themselves be beaten that easily. And ten minutes later, John Robinson drove the ball from close range to score his first ever goal in a Charlton shirt. Way and now Minto, Minto in some space, he's fine, a good pass through to Lee Power and there's a chance for Robinson and Charlton have the lead. 26 minutes of the first half gone and the Charlton fans celebrate John Robinson's second goal for the club, Lee Power in a lot of space there and the ball across the face of the goal was easy meat for John Robinson. Minto Play the ball through to Lee Power. And well, you can decide for yourself whether that was a shot or a cross. Last week, everyone was wondering how Charlton managed to lose at Leicester. Maybe some of the luck that went missing there returned yesterday. Barnsley were the better team in the first half, but a minute into the second, John Robinson, just onside, scored his first of the season. 13 minutes from the... Charlton's sense of injustice helped them regain the lead three minutes later. John Robinson left all alone in the penalty area. But it was 2-2 by half. Breaks on the far side, Robson. He's got Bennett's gone inside him. Good deep cross in for Lee Byrne. There's a header there from John Robinson. Left open on the far post. In it goes for the equaliser. Just what Charl was looking for at the start of the second half. Robson's cross came to the far post. And John Robinson heads it back down across. Keller got a hands with it, but only pushed it further up into the net. And right on half time, Charlton were back in it. Carl Liebman's flick, John Robinson's smooth turn and shot. Robin and Lee Bowyer again, doesn't it? Well, you know, I haven't seen him live as yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing him. But everybody's telling me, you know, what a player he is. So, I mean, some magnificent football. Look at that ball there. Wasn't that a super ball? But what a good finish, too. You know, out, just lifted it over the goalkeeper, bent it in the corner. I'm delighted for Charlton because, you know, they've got their lovely little ground sorted out now. They, they get... Keep this mood and spirit going now. Still a goal down. Walsh and Humphrey over this free kick. Walsh playing it in. And Chapel will have finally get in there. It's Robinson who's turned it in. It's 1-1. A real scramble around that Wolves goal. And John Robinson right on the line, in fact, in the end. It was Walsh who played this in. Lieburn who caused a lot of trouble in there. Nelson who got in on the far side. And there's the number nine, John Robinson. And it's 1-1. Lieburn now trying to hold off McPherson. They've been together all evening, in fact. Mortimer now with his first touch back to Lieburn. Mortimer goes again. Now, is there anyone in the box? Mortimer can pull it back to. Surely it's a chance. It's a goal! It's a goal! It's a goal for John Robinson! Tidy with a cutting edge. John Robinson drove in the first of two goals in 15 minutes. There he is. Onside! The flag has stayed down. Robinson's in the middle. And Robinson's out! Charlton. Just that little bit of a question mark as to whether Bowyer was onside. Once that flag had stayed down, Robinson made a fantastic run. Here he is. He made a fantastic run. Charlton made a blistering start. Just four minutes had gone when Charlton maintained the form that has taken them up the table. Kim Grant's shot was too hard for Nader to handle, and John Robinson followed up for his sixth goal of the season. And they extended the lead in the 17th minute. Newton's cross found its way across the goal mouth to Robinson, who fired home his second of the game. The but Charlton don't seem to be lacking in the backbone department. John Robinson wouldn't take no for an answer. So far, Charlton have refuted any talk of teenager Lee Bowyer. Lee mattered. Normal service was resumed, courtesy of a goalkeeping howler at the other end. Marlon Beresford the culprit, but John Robinson wasn't complaining. Robinson limped off after an hour, but not before he'd put a gloss finish on Charlton's display with number four. 
The second leg at Turf Moor should be a format. Whelan said half his team just didn't try in the second half. They certainly couldn't cope with David White. John Robinson, eagerly awaiting the pass, finally got it. The Washington National scoring his first goal in the league this season, the second of the game for Charlton. That's how it finished. South End nil, Charlton. But Charlton stole the much-needed points when John Robinson picked up on the rebound. It ended Charlton 2, Palace 1. Victory at West Bromwich Albion brought Charlton their first away win since Boxing Day. Charlton opened the scoring after 17 minutes. Mark Kinsella's shot was blocked. John Robinson was handily placed for the rebound. They've had some sympathy for the present incumbent, Lee Harper, when he was beaten by a well-directed shot from Charlton's live-wire striker, John Robinson. It was as full of goals as the first, John Robinson scored his second, and then... Mark Kinsella set up all three goals, the last for John Robinson, to seal a fourth away win on the spin, with 14 goals in the process for the Londoners. Huddersfield nil, Charlton three. Season, ...with Charlton ending a run of three consecutive defeats on their travels. John Robinson with the first goal a minute before half-time. Three minutes later, John Robinson was not to be denied a goal on his 200th appearance for Charlton. Sheer persistence overwhelmed Norwich. Mike Walker saw Mike Milligan sent off in the final minute. Not long after... The priorities are the tensions. Forrest made the first mistake. Alan Rogers' intervention nearly teeing up the ball for John Robinson to score. Been down and the ball hits him on his back and goes in. Some suspect defending for the second because Robinson seems to be in rather a lot of space. Yeah, but what a good, nice controlled volley that is from Robinson to uh, settle again. The roof has just stabbed it forward. Alan on to Newton now. Sharp roaring forward in numbers. Newton will slip it in field. Here's Keith Jones. The ball into the middle and the equaliser struck by Robinson. And desire. Charlton, without a win in the last five league fixtures, went ahead through John Robinson. A goal that hurt not only Stoke, but also. And this really is nerve crunching stuff now. No one can afford to miss. And John Robinson, who's only returned to the game today after a nine match absence because of that hairline leg fracture, is coming forward bearing here a heavy duty of responsibility. Can Perez make the first save of the shootout? It's Robinson. Another goal. Yeah, wrong foot in the keeper. The match started with fireworks of its own, a frenetic pace set by the league's new boys. Three minutes gone, the Southampton defence creaked. Sean Newton's cross should have been dealt with comfortably by the Saints defenders. It wasn't. Hesitation on the ball allowed the impressive John Robinson to seize his chance. Muscling his way. And he's done well, Mendonca, good save, and it's in, surely, yes. The linesman says, and it's in, Robinson has scored. 3-2, Charlton. What a remarkable match this is turning out to be. Southgate really caught by the determination of Jones. Mendonca, good block. And then Robinson just able to get it over the line before Southgate's clearance. Villa Portsmouth with a goal in each half. Welsh international John Robinson got there first after former addicts keeper Andy Pedersen had spilled Andy Hunt's cross. Keith Jones came close to it. And John Robinson wasn't going to let anyone stop him from scoring. The Addict's second half comeback was inspired by John Solarco and his... Charlton in yellow bounced back from their defeat to Manchester City at the weekend with victory at struggling Swindon. John Robinson put the Addicts on their way. They completely dominated the first half. And after 35 minutes, doubled their advantage. Again, John Robinson very much involved and scoring a goal that had to be a candidate for one of the best scored by this free-scoring team throughout the season. If at first you don't succeed, 
72 minutes, Sean Newton. And watch for the late John Robinson show coming in last man to arrive to connect perfectly. Six forward. Newton. That's well done, and that's brilliantly taken. Robinson. But it was Sean Newton who made that. Superbly done, that lovely bicycle kick. Two bears went for the ball together. Looking for a result. The only goal, 11 minutes after half-time. It worked. Charlton came out looking like league leaders. They broke the deadlock nine minutes into the second half. Sean Newton's cross. John Robinson arriving at the far post. So the Addicts back to winning ways and still clear at the top of the table. Finally, Lisby came in. Um, well, he could have had five, I guess, there with a bit of luck. Could have done, yeah. This is the one that's quite amazing, really, and I think there's only Nicky Weaver will, will know what he, why he only stuck a fo foot out yeah. there, really. And not... I just wonder if he's on side to save it. I think he just, because he saved the first one with his foot as well, though. Yeah. yeah. His first reaction is that, do the same again. Yeah. But, yeah. Really, he wasn't really inside, though, was he? No, he wasn't. No, no looking at the, looking at it there, yeah. No, I mean, he, he had a tremendous mm, yeah. season last season, didn't he? <clears throat> Do you think? Maybe the goal scoring's not yet over. Kinsella, here's Robinson. Oh, he's cutting back across the face of Van der Hal. It's three-three, and Charlton want to get on with it. They feel they can still win the game. Two minutes of injury time. Jensen into the mixer, Robinson, and they've equalised right at the death. Luke Young, testing throw, it's come down to Robinson, and Sereni can't deal with it, and Charlton have take back their lead. John Robinson with the goal. from Luke Young's throw-in, it arrived at the feet of Robinson and took a deflection on route to goal and, well, Sorelli just couldn't contain the threat of John Robinson. Charlton right back in this match.